Hello, so today I wanted to give you a couple of Hello World examples and with the different ways you could create uh, Lambda functions with Jets. So let's, let's jump right into it. Okay, so docs here, we'll go docs and you can create Lambda functions here. Like this is like a simple Lambda function and the docs even say that it's not really actually that useful, but I'll, we'll create one just to be complete here and show you how that works. We're also gonna create a Hello World example with a, a controller concept. And the controllers, uh, what they do is uh, all these public methods in controller gets translated to Lambda functions. And then you can actually connect those Lambda functions to API gateway resources via routing here. So this is, we're gonna create a route and kind of connect that so you can see how that kind of works too. And then we're also gonna create a hello job. So you can see how jobs kind of work. And jobs are just ways to schedule work over repeatedly and kind of do it off the request response cycle. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. And let's just jump right into it now. So it'd be Jets new hello. We're just generating a project called hello. Uh, and what the Jets new command does is it basically creates a skeleton project with everything you kind of need in the full structure. Okay, so we're going here and we'll actually start creating resources now. Now the functions folder doesn't create it, get created by default because uh, it's not really used much, uh, but I'm, so I have to create a folder. So there we go. I'm gonna go simple.rb and open that up and then go back to the example here and just actually grab the code so uh, the simple function looks like this. is actually a standard Lambda function. Here's the signature. You need Lambda uh, handler, that's the default name, and then event context is uh, the keyword arguments are required. And see, we're just um, kind of printing out the event and then put, put sing hello world. And this is returning full bar as the result. <clears throat> so that's pretty simple. And let's go grab the controller code and then we'll start creating that. I only need this, so I'm gonna just grab that. Go to the controller, create a post controller, new file post controller rb okay and then i just have to end that and here let's actually just put hello world here too okay so there's controller that's done now the job so we just need a hello world job hello job and let's go grab that code too in the docs oh oops i forgot about routing i'll go back and do routing a bit okay so let's do the hello world job there uh let's change this to hello uh, let's call this hi, puts hi there, and just maybe return like full bar again. Uh, let me just actually start moving these around and just grab it from here. There we go. So we're just returning full bar again, close that up. And remember, I forgot routes, so let's go back to config uh, routes here. Let's kind of move these uh, around, controller right here, routes right here. A little job right here and the simple right there okay so we're gonna hook up the route and so the docs are right here you can go to docs routes and we're just gonna hook up this route the index route so we can go down here and hook up the index route right here and that should do it so that's everything we kind of need to deploy so let's cd into our hello project and just run jets deploy so what that is is now bundling our project code up and then kind of print it, essentially deploy and create the resources on ADOS Lambda, API Gateway, CloudWatch event rules, all that. Uh, it's gonna take a little time. So I'm gonna pause this video so we don't have to wait. Okay, so the application finished deploying and now we can actually go to the Lambda and then actually see all the uh, Lambda functions here. See, so it created all those Lambda functions that you created. And I wanna show you actually how they kind of correspond real quick and then we'll just test them all real quickly. Just kind of move these windows around. So as a reminder, there's the simple hello function. There is the uh, controller hello function. There's the job and there's the route, okay? Um, let's see, we can kind of move it like that. Mm, okay, and then uh, kind of, you can kind of see it all together. And then uh, let's test the simple function first. Let's actually just move it all here so you can see it more clearly. There we go, simple hello uh, function right here, simple handle handler. So you go in there. And we can configure a test event. It doesn't really matter what we throw it because we're not really using it. We're just printing it out. And then uh, we click test. So there are tests and it's to set, uh, succeed it. It returns full bar. And remember, here's a simple Lambda right there. Here's the, it can print out the event, which is right here. Then it puts hello world and then it returns full bar right there. So that's the first one. Okay, one down. Now the controller. Let's go back to functions. Let's go to controllers index here. And here we got to actually do a configure test event. And here actually, uh, this actually does matter. Uh, for controllers, actually you need to specify the path. So, and you have to do it with like a, the full path like that. So you, that's the only thing you really need to specify, but you do need to specify. 
Okay, create that and then hit test. And that should return, uh, yeah, 200. There's the return. And then that's the, actually the uh, Lambda proxy integration structure. So that's, uh, that's returned successfully. And uh, that's the hello world function right there. Now that route was connected. And then when it was connected, it actually spat out the API gateway endpoint. Let me just make this bigger. So you can actually curl that too. So why don't we kind of curl that? So it'd be like curl uh, that and then post. So that should uh, actually return what we need. Uh, there, hello world action index. So, so I was just testing basically this API route right here. So that test is that. Last thing we have to test is this hello uh, job. So let's go back to the council and kind of test that. Um, I guess I, I closed that down. So um, let's open that back up. Uh, AWS Lambda council right here, council home. And uh, go to Lambda. And go to hello job high. That's what we called it. And we have to configure a test event. Now the job, it doesn't care about the event here. So we just create any event and hit test. And that's the last one right there. So hello world job, it returns full bar. Let's actually put it side by side. Oh, I guess I had it there. Oh yeah, that's right, because I moved the windows. Um, hmm, okay, so let me kind of do this. Go cloud nine here. Okay, and here's the job. And then this is side by side. Let's go back to jobs and let's hit test one more time. Test one more time there. <clears throat> and then you can see it's returning full bar and it's putting high there, right there. So let's just put the review. So I created um, a simple uh, Lambda function, a hello world for a controller Lambda function, and a hello world uh, for a hello job here, and I also did a route. And uh, it's basically this, the function, the controller, and the job, and the route, pretty much all that. So. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's how you do hello world with different ways and different ways with jets. Okay. Uh, hopefully you found this video helpful. I actually did a, a couple other videos to, um, that shows you how to create things kind of manually just for the sake of learning. And now you can kind of see how it all kind of connects together with this one by basically all the different resources. Now just basically be our, our, is being handled for you, uh, uh, via jets here. Okay. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you enjoy videos like this, give it a thumbs up, please. Uh, if you um, if you want to watch future content like this, subscribe to this channel. Uh, it, it, the subscriptions help kind of spread the word. So so please do that. I really, really would appreciate that. And I hope you guys have a good rest of the uh, day. Cheers.